some videos for you guys. I've been sick the past week, week and a half. I had food poisoning and literally like two days later, I caught a cold. Mother nature was just like, you. I'm gonna be doing a review of my new pressure washer and foam gun setup for washing cars. So that's what this video is and if you guys want to see me spray foam all over the place because it's really windy out, then you should definitely watch this video. Okay, so here's the pressure washer. Now before I start this, I want to say I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by Ryobi although it would be pretty awesome if I was, but I'm not. I'm purely just doing this because I wanna show you guys the setup that I am using and I honestly would not be showing this to you guys if I wasn't thoroughly pleased with how it works. I am absolutely in love with this little pressure washer. A lot of people believe that electric pressure washers are inferior to gas-powered pressure washers, but I wanna tell you, for someone that has used both gas and electric, that is not the case with this pressure washer. I have had zero complaints so far with this when it comes to washing cars. Now, if you're washing heavy equipment, 1600 PSI, 1.2 gallons per minute would not be enough for detailing car purposes. This thing is amazing. And the one thing I love is how handy it is. Like, it's so small and portable. It's so light, you can carry it like a 90s boom box. <laughs> now, it does have this little soap tank that says do not use bleach, so don't use bleach. I, however, do not use the soap tank because I have the foam gun, which I'll be going more on in a second. Now, the pressure washer did not come with these quick disconnects. That's something I added just to ease convenience of storing this thing. If you see right here. I have a quick disconnect on both the wand and on the pressure washer itself. That way I can stow the hose. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. I can stow the hose and the wand and the pressure washer separately, hang up on the wall or whatever. It has a ton of cords. So you don't have to worry about having an extension cord, which is great. Now it came with different tips. I honestly have not tried them all out because I've only really been using this with the foam cannon. That's the whole reason why I purchased this pressure washer. You can buy this on Amazon. I actually bought it at Home Depot. I believe it was like $120, $110 or something, but I'll put the link below to where you can get it on Amazon. Okay, some of you are wondering why use a foam gun? What's the purpose of a foam gun? Are you just that extra that you need to spray foam all over your car? So people are like, oh wow, kinda. No, seriously though, the reason why you would want to use a foam gun is because it removes a step of you touching your paint. I know that sounds kind of odd and strange, but over touching paint can cause swirls or scratches because you're physically coming in contact with it with a mitt or whatever you're using, you're touching the paint. So by using a foam gun, you're essentially coating the entire car in a layer of soap suds without using your hand in a soapy bucket to put it on the car. So it reduces the chances of swirling the car essentially. And it's, it's pretty cool. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty rad using this thing. So, the foam gun. Now, this foam gun, if you guys have looked on Amazon for foam guns, this is where I purchased it. It was like $15, and it's worth every penny. It came with standard size QD for pressure washers. It has a little adjustment nozzle on the top, and then you can also adjust the direction of the spray pattern. It also has an adjustment right here to adjust like the stream, how you want the stream to come out. I'm sure there's a more technical explanation than that, but I'm, I'm basic, so yeah. Also, I wanna show you guys, this is a portable water softener. I've been using this for about four or five years now, ever since I moved to Arizona, because the water here is extremely hard. It has a lot of minerals, which can leave water spots on a car. This filter, I got it from somewhere. I don't know, I'll put a link down in the description below. It came with two filters, it came with a particulate filter, and then also this carbon absorber filter. I believe it's carbon. I'm sorry, I'm not a scientist. I don't know the specifics on how this works. It's a water softener and it does a pretty good job at removing the hard from your water because nobody likes hard water. If you guys are curious of the geeky tech specs to the pressure washer, I also link them down below in the description. I already told you it's 1600 PSI and 1.2 gallons per minute. I know most of you probably came to watch me use it to see how it works. I actually don't like using pressure washers on a car when I'm detailing them, just in case they have like 
aftermarket paint or brittle trim or also just taking a pressure washer to certain aspects of a car is not exactly smart, especially like headlights and taillights, where if you use too high of pressure, you can actually get water past the ocubutyl seal around the inside of the lens. Now the pressure washer has a, it's like an oscillating tip that rotates and it sprays in a cone shape. So it works great for washing a car. Okay, so now I'm going to try this out on the Forester. Now I'm sorry, my car isn't really that dirty and it's white, so it's probably not gonna make too much of a difference on camera. Anyway, I'm gonna spray foam all over the damn place. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be doing this in a bikini with my roommate Sarah, because I saw some requests for that. It's like 50 degrees outside and I'm getting over a cold. So that's not gonna happen. Sorry. How many Sarahs does it take to screw in a pressure washer? Mmm, screw the hose in. Dude, this is so hard to do while holding a camera. So you gotta purge all the air out first. Now the pressure washer is not turned on. This is purely just the water being turned on and it's forcing all the air out. It does come with its own GFCI, or for all you keyboard warriors out there, ground fault circuit interrupter to protect you from getting electrocuted since this is an electric pressure washer. My garage has all GFCI anyway, so good to go. I have it really close just for audio purposes for me filming right now because it is so windy outside that even with my wind filter, you can't really hear anything other than wind. Time to spray some foam on the Forester. Now with this foam gun being really inexpensive, you would think that it would be cheaply made or inferior in some way, but honestly, like everything is extremely heavy duty. The brass fittings at the top, I think the brass, everything feels really sturdy and well made, which is surprising for how cheap it was. But then again, it's just a plastic jug with some metal fittings, so. Now they do sell specific soap for these foam cannons. I did not have any. So I just used about two tablespoons of car soap, which may or may not be too much. We'll find out when I start spraying it. Anyway, I just put two tablespoons of my Chemical Guys, what is it, Max said. There's a link below where you can purchase that. <laughs> That is crazy. <laughs> it like seriously painted my car. What do you guys think? That is some thick foam. Check this out. It does a really good job. There's a windshield in there somewhere. That's crazy. Okay, so does it work as a totally hands-free wash? The answer is no. If your car is dirty with road grime or bird poop or whatever you get on your car, you're gonna have to use a mitt. I don't think there's a soap out there that will take off that heavy of contaminants just on its own without damaging the paint. Now, I may be wrong, but I don't think anything like that exists out there. So it's not totally hands-free. Now, when I washed my car just now, it had nothing but just dust on it because I hadn't really driven it much since last time I washed it. Was it worth the money? I think so. I love this pressure washer and foam gun. It's fun and I don't know if that's a reason to buy something because it's fun. So you guys are probably wondering what the cons are and truthfully, there's not a lot. I honestly can't think of any cons for this setup. Perhaps maybe if you're washing really muddy big trucks that are greasy, it may not be as powerful enough for you. There's no steam capabilities with the pressure washer. It's kind of awkward trying to wrap up the power cord on it. So you can see how I have the cord wrapped up right here. It does have a little clasp so you can attach the cord to itself. As far as a foam gun goes, foam gun uses soap fairly quickly. That's about it. Now I didn't try the other nozzle attachments out for the pressure washer in this video because truthfully I don't have anything to use them on. And I didn't use the onboard soap dispenser because I have a foam gun. So let me know in the comment section below if you really wanna know about those and I will test them out on something. I don't know what. I'll find a really nasty, dirty truck. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review, and if you'd like to see more reviews on stuff, let me know, but I'm going to be getting back to doing some work on the MR2 project here, I think for the next video, 
and possibly a review on the Forester, which is long overdue. So I'll see you guys soon with another video. And if you're not subscribed yet, please, that's all I want for Christmas. I'm joking. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye. So what are the cons? Truth, <laughs> my stomach's growling. <laughs>